Paul, first out in the pre-season, what did you make of what you saw tonight? Yeah, it's nice to get a run out, it's nice to be in the dressing room, you know, although it's, it's a pre-season game, still to just get that feel again after some time off. Um, and I think we've come through injury free, I believe, and everyone's got 45 minutes in the legs, so that's, that's pleasing. We won the game. You know, I, it's not the be all and end all. We're expected to win. I get that, but still want to win it. Um, the lads will be pleased we've got on the score sheet. Uh, just a little frustrated that we, uh, you know, conceded from the penalty spot. And you've got two of your new strikers got on the score sheet today. I know it's only pre-season friendly, but it can only be good for their confidence, can it? It certainly can because, you know, I remember um, when I was here the first time. Well, I won't name him, but we brought a striker in who at the time was probably going to be sort of fourth choice. Didn't stop scoring in pre-season, started the season, and then scored a level lot of goals for us. So, kind of said that to the players at the, at the start. First impressions, you know, are, are important. And while there's, you know, there'll be a lot more to come from some, um, we certainly hope so, in terms of fitness and performance. But it's nice to, uh, you know, make make that impression on the fans, because we seem to make assumptions anyway um, about certain players when they sign, and you know they they're brilliant when probably they haven't seen him play, <laughs> uh, in some cases at least. Uh, but yeah, they'll be they'll be really happy. Some of them, some more than others, I would suggest. So that's natural. Uh, but you know, now we'll move on to the next game at, at Cleethorpes, and it'll be the next chance to impress. And what do you see stepping up in terms of from tonight to Saturday at Cleethorpes? What do you want to see from your team? Um, I think we need to move the ball a little bit quicker at times. Uh, an understanding of you know playing some longer passes on on some occasions just to try and stretch the game a little bit. You know, to be fair, Grimsby Borough had a, a good shape to the team, got behind the ball and were quite patient for the majority of the time, so it wasn't easy. Uh, but I thought we scored a couple of good goals and probably the best move of the game we, we didn't quite um, exploit when we sort of counter-attacked. Uh, but I think you're just hoping for that sharpness to come gradually. You know, it's not too many days away, obviously, so it's not going to suddenly be a vast improvement. Uh, but you're just hoping to edge forward all the time because the season does come round quite quickly in the end. And... Just don't waste opportunities. That's, again, another message that we try and get across to the players. And just reflecting on the first 10 days of pre-season, what do you make of what you've seen from the team in, uh, down at Cheapside? No, pleased. Um, you know, I think we part of the recruitment process is trying to get good people as well as, as good players. And from what I can see, it looks like the group are, are getting on well. Uh, that's important, that bond. You know, that'll, I think, step up another gear the longer they, they're together when we go away as well so they kind of in each other's pockets even more um, and that's sort of another plus uh, from going away so looking forward to that um, but no being pleased with it you know we've had some good work probably a lot of sort of fitness work out of possession work yesterday we took uh, touched on a bit of in possession stuff but that will certainly need to to improve but it, it will of course it will as we get to know each other and the players get to know what we really want from them.